Yeah, the next project, it's like small project in between. I thought a lot about uh, utility room layout and we realized that it would be nice to have a little bit more space and also with construction it takes a lot of space but yeah basically it's useless yeah it's useless so right now i want to demolish that and also i'm going to put wall there and wall to have small stairs not like that the stairs will be yeah the here 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 we will move the stairs over here they will be uh, yeah, not the most. Uh... Yes, they will be small, smaller. It's not not so comfortable, but because we don't need to go every day to the base, yeah, to, to, to the, the basement, so we don't. And yeah, but also this... also it means that we open with space and we have more space to put washing machine, dryer, and yeah, also some stuff here so yeah yeah the main idea is that we will just free up some space for other needs whatever yeah. these needs are <laughs> yes yes so right now i'm thinking about how i can do that <laughs> enjoy Fortunately, they use just ceramic, some tiles, it's quite easy to break. If they use normal stones, it will be much harder, but right now it's easy! Here, fortunately, it was really weak cement. So yeah, I need. I still need to check how it's connected here, but here it was just nothing. It was just. Because all these iron bars, everything hanging out really, really nice. Done. So I remove this yeah, cover with roof. Uh, yeah. Next time, Marina will remove all this plaster, cement plaster, and yeah, and I need to remove this wall. And we have like one square meter of free space. Now 
Now time for in between cleanup. <laughs> What I found. It's an old hook, all rusty, as you see. But probably they were hanging it like that and they were hanging meat because I think meat or fish because it's rather sharp at the end and to make dried meat like jerky, yeah, might be. Or maybe, maybe cheese to hang like that <laughs> interesting I'll keep it okay let's bring this wall down <laughs> at least let's try <laughs> One wall is up, one is down, so time for a beer break. <laughs> yes, yeah. we have done enough. <laughs> time for time for to, proc cele to celebrate. Procrastinate. Celebrate. Sit and procrastinate. Whether well, so we have done enough. <laughs> I think the progress, our progress, it feels like it's rather slow. Hmm? Yeah, it's a little bit slow. It's warm outside because i always wait for the summer and i think I, it will be like oh we will work like from from the morning till night and it will we will do a lot of progress but wait wait it's like is it gonna yeah <laughs> i remove wire and in few seconds wait 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 wow <laughs> <laughs> Anike was also scared. <laughs> it's a big no for Belgians to drink uh, beer from the wrong glass, but... Yeah, we have wrong glasses, but okay, it looks Let's almost, drink. almost the same shape like on the image. <laughs> Let's hide the logos. <laughs> we are drinking today Saint, how it's Saint Bernardus. Yeah. yeah, Saint Bernardus beer, up to 12. It's been brewed in West Flanders. Yeah, for me, it's. Yeah, I see it a lot in, in the shops, but I never tried. I also did. For the first time. Oh, first I, don't, time. I don't know why. It's an interesting beer. It's like, we can call it a, a close sister or brother from West Flatland beer that is considered to be one of the most rare and uh, delicious beers in the world so the taste should be very close to that one i guess <laughs> 
<laughs> I, have I don't know. How Is that what I read? And people told me. It's, mm, nice, nice. it's the taste that I like. It's bittersweet. It's 10% uh, alcohol, but you don't actually feel it that it's strong beer. Nice one, I like it. It's delicious. Caramel aftertaste. Yes, caramel. Something like that. I, I read it that it uh, could be accompanied by blue cheese and chocolate and it matches very well. <laughs> yeah, uh, the history of this beer is also very interesting. Um, it's not that old, it started in 1945 after the Second World War. Uh, there was a Belgian entrepreneur who was uh, making dairy products at uh, the Koning and he was invited by the tra Trappist monks from uh, St. Sixtus from West Flattering Brewery and they, um, yeah, they asked him to brew uh, this Trappist beer under their license and they gave him, uh, f for the first time it was for 30 years and then they prolonged the license for another 30 years so 60 years he was brewing, brewing, uh, brewing <laughs> I don't think that I pronounced it correctly. He did, he did it. it for 60 years, uh, this Trappist beer. But then in 1992, the Trappist monasteries decided that they will only assign the label, the Trappist authentic beer label, only to the beers that are brewed uh, in, um, inside the abbeys. From 1992, they uh, are brewing their own beer under their own logo. San Bernardus and it became really successful it's like it grew from a few thousand liters to four million liters per year I don't know the numbers are insane I mean the growth and it's really tasty back then when they, uh, the Trappist monks asked um, the deconic to brew this beer. Also one of the main master brewer master, uh, he also joined the new brewery and he uh, brought his experience, the know-how, the recipe and also the East, the famed uh, West Flattering East. So dusty. <laughs> really dust inside. I don't know why cats, when they go out, they find the most dirty place on the yard and they start, like, I don't know, making turns in this dust. So it's like uh, a natural protection against all the insects. insects. Yeah? Like my owl. But it's like instincts. Flies. I think. J just instincts. Our ca cats at home the same. It's the most dirty place. Perfect one. Will you be able to continue your work? <laughs> yes. <laughs> In half an hour. For, in one hour. <laughs> yeah, it's really tasty. So yeah, my task right now would be to uh, yeah to remove this plaster. It's from cement. I hope it will go fast. It's very small. Okay. Yeah, and also you need to remove this wall. To this remove? Wall. Ah, yeah, we need to break it in smaller pieces and just ding ding ding. But then we'll borrow. Pieces. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, sounds like a lot of fun. Okay. <laughs> help Marina with this wall. This wall built from this brick, smaller than regular one, which was used to build uh, the ground floor. And this size of bricks was used to build uh, first floor. And I need some of them to because yeah, I will need to fix lintels and other stuff and I need with small bricks. So I want just to carefully pick up it from here. I'm just to show this is old one brick, which was used for farm, and it's another one, so it's smaller, thinner, smaller. Stupid idea to split uh, and try to take bricks here because yeah, it's better to move and we swallow by big pieces to the trash and maybe there just to split it. Things that are gonna make it for this week's video to finish it unfortunately but yeah just keep me in your thoughts because probably on Tuesday when you will be watching this video I'll be chipping all this plaster at the same time to complete it see you then on Tuesday